in a carport for two cars. It's just three inch uh, tube steel and three by inch uh, steel. Could build it, uh, I think maybe, to be fair, two, two days is enough uh, for, t for the two men to do it. And uh, they charge uh, 800 baht a day for labour for welding. So, 3,200 baht if you use uh, two men. But the smaller, I mean, this is small enough. One man could do this one, no problem. But uh, two men is an advantage. Advantage, yeah. But my boy, eh, Bo, the, the boy I work with, he can do it on his own. He's 800 baht a day, but when I've when I done this, I just use two men to do it. The uh, four, four car option as well, that's it. Just double the size, and I took out posts in the middle. Well, Bo did, he, uh, he told me there's no need for it. Just double up the steel, and uh, he took out uh, two. Two, uh, what do you call it? Two um, steel posts out, gave me more room because it four people's crashing into the into the, the steel poles. Easy enough to stay double up. That's it. Then here the people reverse and they can't. It, it's nearly four and a half meters and they still want to crash into the other terrible drivers. I think when you're when you're doing a carport. Um, Angle it, angle the car to go and maybe you're only going to get three cars, but people's not going to reverse it either. The steel at the back. This one's a uh, four, four uh, car, or well, four car, and uh, probably three bikes, three motorbikes, and four cars. The one over there, this is a electrical shed for this the power supply and tools. So I just built to the side of that another. Um, car carport. This was going to be a car wash originally, but I never, I never done it. But the smart board number one, just on top of your walls, or to make to make a a wall, just basically buy smart board and uh, three by two and frame it up, easy, easy, and you can uh, you can sort of close your place off at a very low cost and really fast to build it. This one's another. This one's uh, four cars as well. Easy to build as well, exactly the same, but this one's done with concrete, the 450 baht, I think now for, to buy one. And then the steel, same again, uh, originally we had at the back, this is for electric, this one here. But originally here, there was a, a post, so we took them out and uh, just doubled up the steel. So just, uh, Gives you more room, and it's incredible how uh, how they can't drive and they crash into the posts. Same again. This one, I don't know how far back. Uh, easily four meters to go out, and uh, they crash into the the Thai people crash. Worse than useless. That's what I say. Worse than useless. So they crash here, and you've got the, all that room to get out. I've done it for five years. Never had a problem. Never. So that's a, what's that one in? One, two, three, a four, a four. Four car, two car, two car and a car wash, and then another four car. But you can, uh, you can make them any size you want. Don't forget though, that's a, uh, I'm seeing a car park, nothing wrong with you putting up smart boards and make it into a store or make it into a shop. Easy to do it insulate it and just put a window and a door or a roller shutter and you've got a shop. So building uh, building these things is uh, no problem. And they just add, well if you want, buy blocks, blocks and insulation if you want and windows, make them into rooms. So, but nothing, no things at all is a problem. If you've got money and you've got time, you can do anything. But this one was about 12,000 baht to do this one. But the materials, the steel's quite expensive. But um, if you want, look on um, the marketplace. Lots and lots of dealers sell second-hand uh, steel. Go to uh, scrapyards that buy steel and ask them for a price per kilo for second-hand steel, maybe 25 baht or 30 baht, I don't know, something like that. And you can buy lots and lots. Just paint it. 
Nobody knows it's second hand. If it's too short, no problem, he can join it. Just put a weld that this join is steel, so try second hand. E even sheets, I see uh, the second hand uh, people are using Tanny selling the sheet metal on roof second hand, so no problem. So the cheaper you can build it, obviously, the better it is for you if it's, if it's for, a, for a car park or maybe on a, on a farm. Okay. Another one. This could be a single. This could be a single car as well. But I'm using it for the statue and the, a decoration. But no problems for a carport. Okay. If you've got spare money, just uh, you can play a bit with ideas. There's another one. Just a, the office here. Just drive in. Originally, um, the overhang was I think maybe one meter. They've just joined into it and put up four posts and created a new place to stop the car. So, there's no problem at all, just uh, just got this one, I've painted as well, the other ones uh, I've had up for five years, I've never bothered to paint them, this one I painted, but the other ones I, I, I never bothered. So just buy the concrete, this one's cheaper, this is maybe about 380 baht, these ones are nose heavy and uh, they're a lot cheaper to buy, the concrete ones. But the poles, if you want three metres, it's a six metre length, so cut in half. They're about 800 baht, so you get two, two pieces. So that works out 400 baht a piece, so it's up to you. But if you want to save money, DIY, hire a good a good welder, give them 800 baht a day and uh, just ask the, the person to make a good job. Okay, so that's carports, and Uden Tani or all over Thailand that you can build them. But do home, very good for the smart board and steel. A lot of they can give you a good price for you ask. So go to do home, give them a call or global house. Okay, bye bye for now.